hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and in this short video i'll be talking about the interview preparation roadmap how you should prepare for your interview and uh, how different it is from your actual day-to-day -day job okay so when it comes to the salesforce interviews you know it is very different from your actual job because you will be working on specific things you know in your actual job but when it comes to the interviews they can ask anything depending on number of years of experience you have they can ask from the wide set of topics okay so we need to have a structured study plan or we need to have dedicated study plan for different different topics okay they can be different topics but if you study in a particular order then it will be good for you okay how I suggest my student is that they start with the admins, spend around 10 days there, try to get to know everything, spend maximum time on record sharing and security and then followed by custom settings and custom metadata, user management, reports and dashboard and process automations. Uh, I'll not count flow as an admin topic anymore because this is an overlapping topic between a triggers and LWC because we have record trigger flows and screen flow. So we will cover flows later on when we cover it with triggers. But other than flows, all the admin topics, try to spend at least 10 days there, try to get to know almost everything from the admin. And in a typical Salesforce developer interview, you get two to three questions from the admin. So 10 to 20 percent of that interview is from the admin so admin do contain good questions and if you are not able to answer record sharing and security question then that hampers your interview so make sure that you go through record sharing and security thoroughly after the admin part i recommend you to go through the fundamentals of apex including object oriented concepts including all the annotations data type and everything basic so in this set you can get questions like what is the real use of interface can uh, can we use multiple inheritance in apex all these type of questions should be answered with the help of example if you can because that is the best way to answer these fundamental questions again these are very impactful questions they may look uh, you know simple but the impact they create on your interview or the effect they create on your interview is huge if you are able to answer it very good but if you are not able to answer it it gives you a negative impact after covering the fundamentals of apex then you can go through triggers try to go through triggers by writing those triggers rather than going through the theory and do not copy paste any code try to write it down how i do it I try to write down the flow chart first like if I have if I have got a question I will try to draw a flow chart of that in my copy and then I go through the developer console and write down the trigger so I do not directly start writing trigger that's what I recommend my student in interviews obviously you will have less time so you will have to write it on screen directly but having said that because you have to write directly on screen you will also not get very difficult like you can go through the roll up summary grandparent update uh, kind of triggers and uh, you will not get very difficult trigger to be very frank if you have practiced well you will be able to crack that trigger you can also go through the salesforce ninjas playlist on apex triggers that is a very comprehensive playlist and i almost recommend every student of mine to go through that if you have time cover everything if you do not have then try to cover at least 15 20 trigger scenarios and try to write down those trigger scenarios on your own okay after triggers you can go through asynchronous apex as well in asynchronous apex there are so there are four different topics you can go through and try to cover uh, questions like can we call future from batch can we call batch from queable those kind of cross questions will be there as well as also go through the limitations of those because there are a lot of limitation related questions we get from the asynchronous apex after asynchronous apex lwc is the major topic in any salesforce developer interview you have to go in and out on lwc cover almost everything starting with decorators and lwc versus apex versus vf page and then going through lightning data services how to communicate from child to parent parent to child and um, lightning message services and then couple of practical scenarios uh, you can also get a question like what is the most difficult LWC scenario you have ever seen, how you created, how it was difficult and all sort of questions from there. 
and after that you have to go through the integration integration is also a very important topic because integration uh, is after three years of experience in fact even now now even the two years of experience guys are doing integration so integration becomes really important because every company hires for the developers who can work on anything and integration is such a thing which is very important nowadays because they'll be every company works on different different tools and there will come a situation where you'll have to interact between different tools so integration is very important go through that if you don't know it if you are somebody who has not worked on integration then at least try to get to know the fundamentals of rest integration try to connect to salesforce instance so that you'll get comfortable with authentication and authorization name credential remote site setting connected app all such kind of concepts which are related to that for this i'll recommend manish chaudhary's um, workshop on integration i think that is a one hour video i'll put the link in the description you can go through that but that is very helpful for the beginners okay after completing these things these are kind of must to know things then we have to work on additional things um, depending on number if you have more than three years of experience you'll also have to go through platform event and change data capture try to get to know the event driven mechanism how it happens okay and uh, for everybody have to go through the best practices of apex triggers test classes and uh, lightning web component flows as well you will have to go through the order of execution whatever latest release uh, salesforce has launched you will have to at least know the uh, major things on that on that release these are kind of these are something which everybody should know and um, we can also go cloud specific so if i am somebody who has worked on sales and service cloud i'll try to get to know more about it i should be well aware about the data model of the, that cloud in and on top of that, I can try to get to know a couple of additional things. Like let's say if I know that generative AI is something which is very trending, I'll try to get to know more about it. Einstein bot is trending, I'll try to get to know more about it. Similarly, different clouds, like if I don't know financial service cloud and if I know the basics of it, that creates a huge difference. But whenever you know basics of something, just mention that you know the basics only. Don't say that you know something without actually knowing it because that can backfire in the interview these are good to know things if you can cover at least the trailhead of that and mention it in the correct manner then that can also give you advantage health cloud financial service cloud manufacturing cloud if you know even the little part of it that will be beneficial gives you an edge over other candidate given the fact you tell it in a proper manner okay and uh, yeah so and the last part is whenever you answer something try to answer it with the help of example start with the good introduction and start on the good good closing mark like if they give you a chance to ask a question try not to ask about the feedback of the interview that's not how you should be doing because see first interviewer is not allowed you to give you feedback directly there is a process and he will follow the process secondly it does not sound good like it sounds very disparate that you are asking feedback directly in the call instead take that opportunity and ask logical question like what kind of projects we have in the pipeline how do we do the resource allocation once uh, one if i get hired you can also tell how uh, how you like the conversation and how you are looking forward uh, to hear from them that shows that you are eager to learn but do not just ask feedback or do not ask about leave policy do not ask about the appraisal i mean you can ask about appraisal but it does not make sense that you are about to join the company and you are asking about appraisal but yeah i mean kind of basic okay so these are the basic things you can uh, try and uh, give yourself a chance to prepare for interview for the interviews the uh, the topics are huge like like you, they can ask from anything so you'll have to be prepared as well and also remember that it is not expected that you should know everything do not try to be somebody who knows everything if you do not know something okay accept that and gracefully and tell that you will work on it it is not expected that you know everything salesforce is huge and even the interview knows that even he sh he might not be you know be able to tell everything so that is okay understand what are your strengths what are your weakness work on your uh, work on your weaknesses and try to fetch maximum value from your strong topics okay and i'll see you in the next video thank you everyone